Romans 8:28. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Hey, wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I did the no foundation makeup look using just concealer. If you guys want to know how I did this, make sure you keep watching. So we're going to go ahead and do the usual which is to hydrate my skin and prep my skin before I go ahead and place any product. As you guys can see I did go ahead and use the serum first and now I'm using the Beauty Bay moisturizer. Um, I just go ahead and apply that all over my face and now I'm using the Revolution primer and I'm just you know applying this everywhere. So once my skin is all prepped and ready, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows for you guys. I am using the Brush Up Brow by Beauty Bay and I'm going to go ahead and use the spoolie just to, you know, brush up my brows to make sure everything is laid properly. And then I just go ahead to use the Morphe setting powder just to set my brows. And then I'll just go ahead and use a brow pencil just to shape out or draw out my eyebrows. Um, I'm using just the normal dark brown pencil and I'm just, you know, outlining my brow. When it comes to doing my brows, guys, I feel like every day is a different technique because when it comes to my brows, first of all, they're never identical. <laughs> and I feel like I always change up the way I do my brows. Today, it would look perfect. Tomorrow, it would look, I don't, I don't know. But anywho, today, I love my brows. So I did go ahead and use the Maple Concealer from Too Faced. And then I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation for the top of my brows just to clean that off. As you guys can see, it's perfect. I love it. It came out so good let me know what you guys think once i finish doing that i'm going in with my maple concealer again um i'm just you know applying this all over my eyelid whenever you're gonna do an eyeshadow guys make sure you apply a concealer and then i went ahead and set it with the morphe setting powder i am using the rich palette from beauty bay this is a pr palette and i'm you know using the first shade as my transitioning shade and i'm just you know um, blending that all over my crease once i finish doing that i just go in with the darkest shade just in the outer corners of my eyes bringing it in into my eyelid and then i just go in with the last shade just on my eyelid and i'm just you know packing that there and i'm gonna add a bit of shimmer just in the middle i just make sure to spread that out and you know make sure everything is blended no harsh lines and then i went ahead to use my eyeliner and making sure i blend that out and you know blend it into the darkest eyeshadow these lashes are from um tiktok i believe i believe i got them from tiktok yeah um yeah so they are from tiktok i will try and find the link and put it down below these lashes are my favorite since i got them so we're moving into the exciting part now which is to use my concealer instead of foundation this is the elf deep chestnut concealer i'm going ahead to use this to highlight everywhere i would usually highlight first. and then i'm gonna go in with my conceal and define concealer for makeup Makeup revolution and as you guys can see this is a bit more darker than the first concealer that I used and then for my cream bronzer I'm gonna go in with the made by Mitchell curve case palette and I'm just applying this everywhere I would usually apply my cream bronzer um, once I finish doing that I'm gonna go in with the Morphe setting spray one of my favorite as well and I'm just using a brush to start blending this out and like I always say in my videos you can use a beauty blender as well or a brush but I feel like a brush gives you more of a coverage than a beauty blender so usually you can just leave the concealer to sit for a bit before you go ahead and start blending it out i love the fact that i can still see the coverage so i just go ahead and blend all of this together making sure everything is seamless and everything is blended in properly as you guys can see i still go ahead and use the back of a beauty blender to you know blend everything in properly and now i'm using my last concealer which is the maybelline concealer i think this is in the shade C this is a more um, lighter concealer i usually love my bright on the eyes so this is my favorite concealer to use whenever i want a bright on the eye and then i'm using the curve case again for my blush as you guys can see this blush 
is so pigmented and i love this case and i'm going over everything again with a beauty blender just to make sure everything is blended in properly and then i go in with my charlotte tilbury airbrush press powder just to set the concealer before i go ahead and use my huda beauty to set everywhere i use the concealer and as you guys see today's scripture is romans 8 28 god will always work it out for those that truly love him you know you could be going through a situation that you feel like god is not there but as long as god has called you and he has a purpose for you he would always sort out whatever situation you're facing so just a reminder god is always there for you and god will always be there for you as long as you love god and then i went ahead to use the lys powder bronzer just to set everywhere that i used the cream contour and then and then i just going to set everything with my mac finishing powder um yes i did go ahead and set everything and i'm using my morphe setting spray again just to go over everything and the back of my beauty blender this is how you get a seamless blend or the perfect space and then i'm using my favorite blush of all time um the trigwell um, blush and i just went ahead and mixed those two colors together and then i'm using my um color pop um highlighter and i'm just using this to highlight my cheeks and my nose <laughs> and now i'm just going ahead to just do my lips i'm using a dark brown lip pencil first of all i'm gonna go ahead and put everything in the description box below so don't worry guys and then i go in with my concealer as usual this concealer just gives me the perfect nude shade that i like and then i'm just going in with my nyx lava cake lip gloss and i'm just using this to outline my lips again just you know going over that lip pencil and then once i finish using that i'm gonna go ahead and use another color from nyx and i think this is called cream brulee i'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it but i'm gonna place it down below um and then i go ahead with my super gloss from beauty bay and i just you know apply that all over my lips just to make my lips more glossy and shiny because you guys know your girl love gloss so once i finish doing that i just do my lower lashes and then i go ahead and set my face for the last time as you guys can see this is the final look guys i am so impressed with how this look came out can you guys imagine no foundation and the look came out banging look at how flawless and seamless and airbrushed i look guys this is just beautiful let me know what you guys think and don't forget to turn on your notification bell to get notified for whenever i post a new video and also don't forget to comment that below and subscribe to my channel and i will see you all in another video bye